Despite Donald Trump's vow to cut federal funding to sanctuary cities, liberal mayors from New York, Chicago, San Francisco, they're lining up against Donald Trump. They're challenging him, including Mayor Rahm Emanuel, who says Chicago will, quote, always remain a sanctuary city. Judge Napolitano is here. Now, first of all, is it legal for the mayor of an American city to say, no, I am defying you, Mr. President? Well, remember what, uh, the, of what the defiance consists. This is not the nullification of federal enforcement of uh, immigration laws. This is the refusal of local authorities to expend resources to help the feds enforce the law, which the Supreme Court said they may do. Stated differently, can the federal government commandeer local police and officials and say, you will help us enforce federal law? Answer, clearly no. So Rahm Emanuel, when he says, we will remain a sanctuary city, he, he doesn't mean you can come here and break the law because we won't let the feds in. He means if you come here, we will not cooperate with the feds in finding you and seeking you out. Why do the feds want that cooperation? Because uh, undocumented aliens often have far more contact with police and, okay. and welfare than the feds well, do. And the, feds know, and, and the locals know who they are and where they are. So it is okay, legally, for Rahm Emanuel, the mayor of Chicago, to say... If I've got an undocumented person in the city of Chicago and they commit a felony, I will not allow them to be deported. That is not what he's saying. He's saying, I will not report their whereabouts to the federal government. He cannot stop them from okay. being deported. Right. If there was an actual clash between federal law and local law, the feds would, uh, would supersede. So again, he's not saying to the feds, you can't come into Chicago and enforce your law. He's just saying, we're not going to help you. Okay, now can Donald Trump, as president, President Trump, could he turn around and say, okay, you take that position, I, the federal government, is not going to give you this money here, that money there, deny funds? Only if Congress authorizes it. So we are, we are in, at the, at the, when he takes office in January, we will still be in a fiscal year that began October 1st, where the block grants went to the cities without the condition you will cooperate with our um, immigration enforcement. So the earliest he could cause this to happen would be October 1st of 2017 if Congress puts that condition on the new budgetary expenditures that he's going to ask of them. That's interesting. Can he do it on his own? Absolutely not. That would, that would be not. impounding funds, which the Supreme Court has said is unlawful. That means mm -hmm. there is nothing can be done about this. Rahm Emanuel and Bill de Blasio, New York, and the... the, the no, Maris, it's not quite, Chicago, it's not quite that Francisco. gloomy. I mean, the feds have tremendous assets available to them to find those who are here unlawfully, and in the category that uh, the president-elect wants to deport them, gang members, yes. those who've uh, committed crimes, those who've served their time in American jails, got out of jail, are still here illegally. That's the category of people he wants to deport. Right. The feds know how to find them, and the feds can, can deport them. But the locals won't help. Correct. Now, there may be political consequences to the locals not helping. There may be more crime. There may be more resources of local governments consumed by these people staying here who apply for assistance. So there may be unintended consequences to Mayor uh, Emanuel's big-heartedness with other people's tax and dollars. There may be also some leverage here, which is not the result of some legal move. I mean, if Rahm Emanuel, Chicago's in financial trouble. Yes. If they want help, financial help, mm. they're going to need the cooperation of the federal government and the Illinois Correct. government if, if they get it. If uh, President-elect Trump gets the condition on the block grants that he wants, the pressure on these mayors would be extraordinary to accept the money and comply with the condition. Exactly. Judge, you're all right. Sort Thanks of like purchasing <laughs> compliance. Yes, that's right. <laughs> we'll see you at 11. Thank okay. you.